Hi everyone, let's talk about Lovelace and Babbage. Hopefully there's a picture of it there. It's on Kickstarter right now again, and there's a link in the description and in the corner of the screen pointing you to the campaign page where you can see all of the final lovely stuff. So what did we think of the game? I think it's an absolutely fantastic game. I love the real-time maths puzzly nature of it. Well, I was going to say element, but it is the game. In fact, when I was first asked to do a preview of it, I went on Board Game Geek. There wasn't much information about it, but there was one preview that mentioned, oh, if you've seen Countdown, it's kind of like the numbers around in that, but with a lot more to it. And yeah, I was, I was in from there and I really, really love how it works. I like that you've got these multiple goals to go for and that it's not just the numbers that you're trying to shoot for, it's the symbols that you need as well. So you can be trying to do all of these fancy tricks jumping around trying to reach all of these numbers and then just see that the perfect combination just occurs to you where you can suddenly take the majority of a certain symbol in the last round while meeting a load of goals and crossing off your personal goal card and bringing in a power that you haven't used yet it just really yeah it just adds up and up until it's it's just fantastic getting extra operations in a round is one of the powers that you can get getting extra influence from a particular person getting both sets of influence and not letting other people have it have any symbols of it there were a couple of things like that it's very minor there's one card in a couple of the decks that is all opponents can only can take one fewer operation this round a little bit of you know interference with players like that we would just ignore that but it's not you know that much of an element that you need to be concerned much about it the bulk of the game is this uh, real-time maths situation <laughs> yeah that's that's how it's going to be advertised i'm sure but yeah if you if if you're not a fan of doing you know quick quick arithmetic then yeah you're not gonna like this if you're not a fan of real-time games i know that is just as big a problem for a lot of gamers as well yeah you're not gonna really like this because it is a race to try and do it first you know it depends on the pace of your group though if, if everybody is kind of at the same level then yeah you're all gonna be the person who is first sets the timer you have still got a minute once the timer is going but yeah, the pressure is definitely on all the way through. There is you know, one issue could be, you know, if, if someone is just a lot better, a lot more comfortable with doing quick mental maths, then yeah, it's, it's going to be a big advantage for them. But I know that they're working on mechanisms in the game to try and combat any parity like that. So hopefully that will be in the game as it goes on. For us personally, as I said, I stand by this. I absolutely love this. It's absolutely fantastic. I kind of knew going in, though, that Rach wasn't really going to be a fan of this. Rachel's my girlfriend. I play almost every game with her. Not a big fan of maths at all and not a big fan of having to do it under pressure. So I kind of knew that going in. This was definitely a... This is definitely one for me rather than the both of us. So, yeah, it's going to depend on those things. Maths, real time, are the real things in there, but there are, you know, extras on there. The personal powers, the set collection, the competing to, you want to get the symbols that have just come out that maybe you haven't got as much time to get used to or as much time to actually use. Yeah, I really like how this all comes together and it's got a pad that you write things down on and if you've heard me going on and on and on about rolled and rights, it may just be that element that I love about them. Anyway, I thought it was great. You can see the overview, see how the game goes and see for yourself whether you would be interested in it. But anyway, that is Lovelace and Babbage. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye.